Hello my Tubies, my Teletubby, Sheila True Love, and welcome back to my channel. It feels so amazing to have you back, and I want to talk about something that I have found. It's what, 525 in the morning. I decided that I'm going to take the day off because I had insomnia. I couldn't sleep, and I'm just so exhausted, and I have a doctor's appointment that was set for the 14th, and there was a cancellation for today, so 1230, I'm going to take that, you know. I've been having problems with my stomach. Really, really horrible problems with my stomach. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll take the cancellation. At the same time, what I want to talk about right now is... I was looking at this movie. It was called, I think it was entitled, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. I don't know how many of my Tubies have watched that movie. And when I look at that movie, it explains and it, it shows why I feel the way I feel when it comes to how a man treats me. Because when you look at that movie, think like a, act like a lady, think like a man or think like a man, act like a lady, whatever. But if you go on YouTube, you can see what I'm talking about. And when you look at how those guys treat those women, why do they treat those women like they take them out to dinner? They're really ready to wine them and dine them. They want to show these women off. They want to treat them like they are freaking the second coming of Jesus Christ. Whereas when you have a woman, she may be average, but she's a Proverbs 31 type of woman. She wears her dresses, you know, her skirts be below her kneecaps. She she dresses sexy. You can see that she has a nice shape. But she dresses and conducts herself like a lady. And she never gets treated the way those men treat these women in this, this movie. And it's really based on the true facts of the matter. It's like Steve Harvey. I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally against Steve Harvey. I have issues with him because... um. I don't like the way he treated his first wife, but that's neither here nor there. But the thing is, um, when you look at how these guys treat women and you have to keep in mind also that I am uh, a woman, a lady who has five brothers and I was the only girl, the only girl. So I got to see how my brothers, the five brothers that I had, I got to see how they treated each and, individ each and individual woman. I got to see how they treated women that they valued, women that they thought was worth gold and worth treating like, like the, the cream of the crop. And then I got to see how they treated women that they felt was, well, she ain't worth much. She's ugly. She don't have a certain type of look. Or her body is not a certain type of way. I got to see all of that. And that's why when I'm in the dating field. And a guy wants to treat me like some Burger King or some McDonald's. What are you serious? No. That's, even though I like Burger King and I like McDonald's. You know, I really do sometimes. You know, that's something you could do like maybe once or twice a year. Once every six months, if you if you will. Because it's not the healthiest thing. At the same time. I see the difference of how a man treats women that they feel are worth it and women that they feel are like a jump off or she's, she's not worth much of nothing. And that's where uh, I'm hoping again, I'm hoping here we could do, we can only pray and hope that I'm not misunderstood. A lot of guys want to say that women are chicken heads. They only care about money, 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 blah, blah, blah. No. It's show me where a man spends his money. And I'll show you what he loves, who he values, and what's important to him. Like, for instance, if something happens to a man's car... You and I both know he'll spend a fortune into that car. 
because they place their whole ego, they place their whole self-esteem, they place their who they are as a person based on their car. How stupid is that? That to me is the stupidest thing. Me personally, I don't date anyone who don't have an Uber account. I don't care whether you have a car. I prefer that you don't have a car, to be honest, because I know what men do with cars. Long story, we'll go into another video on that one. But I prefer a man who has an Uber or a Lyft account. He has at least, like, I don't know, like on my account, my Uber and my Lyft account, I always keep $400 in my Lyft or my Uber account, because to me, that's the same as having a car. You know, people make car payments for like 300 a month. They, how much are they using gas? Let's just say a hundred dollars a month. That's 400 easy. And then you talk about how many repairs that they need that let's just put how much that is. It's well over four or 500 or $600 a month. So if you date a man and he doesn't have an Uber account or a Lyft account, you know, where he could send for you. He could say, baby, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send an Uber to pick you up. So that way you can get to me or that way you can get to the restaurant. I'm going to have an Uber. He's going to send the Uber to pick me up and whatever. Or if I have money and I keep money in my Uber account, I could always just you know, call my Uber. It's the same as having a car with the insurance that these people are paying, the car payments, the gas, the repairs. It's the same thing as long as you're traveling locally. Now, if you're going to travel, like, let's say, long distance, we want to go on a road trip, then we can rent a car, sweetie. You have a license. We can rent a car and we're good. That way I could go half on the rental and whatever we spend on the gas, I go half, you go half. And that's amazing. But I am never going to date a guy who does not have an Uber account or a Lyft account. Because that means he can't send for me. I can't be chauffeured. You don't have to have a car these days when you're traveling like within the five districts. Whether you're in Manhattan going to Queens or you're going to the Bronx or you're going to Brooklyn. Or if you're upstate New York and you're leaving from Albany, you're going to Rensselaer, Saratoga, or you're going to Troy. That's local. But back to my point is, no, I'm not going to sit up here and have no, no supposed to be a man, M-A-N, meet all needs, not a boy, burden on you. Uh, no, hell no. I'm a grown ASS woman, and I'm not going to use profanity because I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm trying, I'm, I'm working on things too. Am I perfect? No, but I'm working on stuff too. And I'm not going to sit up here and have no man or no, 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 whatever thinks that he's a man treat me like I'm less than. And all I'm saying, ladies, is go check out or rent the movie or go on YouTube, do whatever you have to do, but check out that movie uh, act like a lady, think like a man or it's whatever. It's that Steve Harvey movie, act like a lady. Oh yeah. That's the way men are supposed to treat you. Powering off. They want to, they want to take you. Can I take you out? They're automatically ready to like jump to it. They really leap to the fact that they want to automatically take you out. They don't want to come to your house and crash in your couch and sit and let's watch Netflix for free. Are they coming over to your house at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night for a booty call? And um, hopefully, what can you do for me for dinner? Like, whatever, tonight, I'm late. No, no, it, it, no, no. As I told you, all you have to do is look at my previous videos. And you'll know what I'm not going to tolerate. And what I will, I'm not never going to let nobody cheapen me. Or make me feel like I'm not worth this or I'm not worth that. Are you serious? I am a Proverbs 31 type of woman, lady, call it what you will, queen. And anytime I'm willing to work that hard and, and, and put that much work into my relationship and be that type of female, there's no way. I'm going to let anyone treat me like uh, less than 
Yeah, act like a lady, treat, think like a man. That movie, act like a lady, think like a man, whatever. You're not going to treat me less than that. You And the reason why they treat these women this way is based on what? What white men say women are supposed to look like. It's all based on the media. If you look like what the media is promoting, then yeah, we could treat you this certain way. Even though she may not cook, she don't have to clean, she don't have to be much of nothing except for an empty shell. And they're willing to spend a fortune on her based on, wow, look, look at how small her waist is, look how big her booty is, look how flat her stomach is, mm-hmm, yeah, look at that hot, sexy outfit she has on with that skirt that goes, you know, way, way almost to her thighs, and she's showing all her tits and everything except for the nipples. And he wants to treat her like a lady while he treats you like the tramp. She gets the best of treatment because she's a freaking thought. And you get treated like you're like pretty much much of nothing because you conduct yourself like a lady. You dress like a lady. You know how to maintain a home. You know how to cook. You know how to clean. You know how to inspire and uplift your man. But because you don't look like what the media promotes, he's going to treat you like you're less than nothing. No, nah, no. Nah. See, that's where I've had issues. I'm going to always have an issue with that. And I'm going to tell you, ladies, listen up. No, no, ain't no way in the world I'm going to let no man treat me like that. When I meet a man, he's definitely got to step up. I'm not talking about. You know how narcissists are because they like love bombing you. They give you this and all of that so immediately. No, he's going to have to do things in a timely fashion. Timely. Based on, you know, come on now. If I'm a good woman and you know I'm a good woman, treat me accordingly. It has nothing to do with whether I look like a thought or if I'm showing my tits, everything is showing but my navel, the, the, the nipples. Or how big is my butt because of my injections and how many butt lifts have I had? Or how tight do I wear my pants? Or how am I going to like be in a car with you and I'm ready to give you a blow job? Or I'm ready to just let you play all up in my vaginal parts? Are you crazy? Has the world gone crazy? No. But like I'm saying, if a man will not, or whatever you run into a male, will not treat you the way these guys treat those women on that um sh that movie, Think Like a Lady, Act Like a Man, or Think Like a Man, or Think Like a Man, Act Like a Lady. Check the movie. If, if a guy is not willing to treat you that way, dead him, okay? And I'm not trying to be rambunctious or uh, uh, aggressive, but... At the same, let's keep it, we'll freak this nonsense. No, you're not going to treat me like I'm garbage or like I'm something that you could blow your nose on, like a piece of tissue you blow your nose on and you could just discard it. Are you stupid as hell? You're not going to treat me like you could give her the best of everything. You give her the flowers, the dinners, the greatness, everything. You spend hundreds of thousands on her, but you want to sit up here and come to me when you broke? When you hardly have nothing, that's so not going to happen. You know why? Because like I said to my tubies, look at my videos. Sheila loves Sheila. I'm going to always love Sheila first. God, Jesus Christ, then comes Sheila. Ain't no way in the world I can love someone else if I don't love myself first. And I'm not going to let no, no, no male treat me any old kind of way. No, you would treat me. Like a Proverbs 31 type of female. Because that's what I am. I am a prize. I am something to be celebrated. And I'm not going to let no guy treat me anything less. Nor should you, my Teletubbies and my Tubies. Nor should you. Unless, of course, you're one of those bum B-I-T-C-H's. Oh, if you're a bum B-I-T-C-H, oh, by all means, you should be treated like garbage because you are pretty much garbage. Sorry to say it. But if you know you're not garbage, honey, ain't no way in the world. You're going to let no guys treat you like freaking garbage.
Anyway, she the true love. You always have a choice. The choice is always yours. Until next time, bye for now. Talk to you later, babies. I love you so much.